What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about 360 photos and how you can add those photos to a Bluebeam PDF. So with that, let's get into the video. So now I have my PDF open and I'm just going to quickly show what the 360 photo looks like. This is just a simple markup. Once I click on the photo icon, then I can just pan and rotate with my mouse and you can see up here that it says 360. So how do we create this? Well, the first thing that we have to do is we have to turn on the 360 camera. Make sure you connect it to your app on your iPhone. Once it's connected to the iPhone, then you go to your album, then you go to your camera, then you're gonna select the 360 photo that you wanna use. Once it's loaded, then you scroll all the way to the bottom right where it says download. Now the photo is downloaded. You go back to your local, and now you see that you have your photo here. Once you do this, then you can go up here to the top right, then you're gonna say export 360 photo. You're gonna click the down arrow, and then you're gonna save it to your phone. Once it's saved to your phone, you can go up here and check your camera. Then you can see your 360 photo has been saved. Now we're gonna go back to the computer. So you're gonna plug in your iPhone to the computer. Then you're gonna go to your photos. I'm gonna go and find the 360 photo that I just saved from the app. I know it's this one here. I'm gonna say copy. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Now I'm gonna go back to Bluebeam. And then I'm just gonna do a simple markup. I have a 360 photo markup right here. Since I know on the building where I took that photo was the second level, approximately this section here. I place the markup, then I'm gonna click on it, right click, capture from file. Then I'm gonna go to my desktop, pick the photo, and now it shows up right here with this photo uh, symbol. Once you click here on the camera symbol, then you can see your 360 photo. You can also look at it in 2D, but that kind of defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do. So you can see up here that it says 360 and you can pan and rotate with your mouse. So hopefully you learned something new from this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.